Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Samuel Liu, says his administration may be forced to review the case of lockdown if residents continue to ignore public health guidelines. Recall that President Mohamed Buhari had eased the five-week lockdown and imposed on Lagos, Ogun and Abuja to check the spread of COVID-19. But there have been complaints of non-adherence to the guidelines of the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, particularly on social distancing since ease on the lockdown. Joining us on today's VAR phone is public affairs analyst Najib Bello. Thank you, Najib, for joining us on the news. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Najib, what is going on? Should we or should we not have a second lockdown? What do you see around? Uh, we, are not, we are not due for a second lockdown right now. However, the rules for which the lockdown was eased up, they need to be enforced. A lot of people are not keeping to the rules. People are not wearing face masks. There is no social distancing or physical distancing. And people are just packing themselves into public vehicles. Everywhere is rowdy. People are not keeping to the rules. And the government needs to enforce those rules rather than putting another lockdown. As soon as the lockdown was eased, it seemed life just returned pretty much to almost normal and business as usual. Uh, did you see any difference at all? In terms of uh, what I've seen so far is people wearing, some people wearing face masks, but wrongly. Aside from that, there's hardly anything that has changed. Now, the government is threatening that should Lagosians not comply, another lockdown is inevitable. Why do we need to be threatened before people actually realize the need to comply with lay down instructions on flattening the curve of the spread of the virus? The truth is that what we, what we need is not threats. When the government was going to ease up the lockdown, they set, they set out the rules. And if people are not keeping up to those rules, those people should be dealt with. They should be fined or something. But going back to the lockdown may not be the right answer to this. Now, someone has got to take the blame on this now. We, we, we just said the measures as imposed by the government was not stringent enough, or we just have Nigerians who the, the, basically the sometimes can be is, unmanageable and unruly. See, if you put down rules, what if the government imposes the lockdown and people refuse to obey the, the lockdown? What will the government do? It will enforce the lockdown. So the government has eased the lockdown and put some rules, and people are disobeying those rules. The government should enforce those rules. Some have said that so the law enforcement agents are not actually doing enough. Now, should it not be a collective responsibility to make sure that the spread is curbed, even as we see the numbers increasing steadily on the daily? Yes, um, although the numbers have been increasing slowly, the numbers are now increasing slowly, though we cannot put that on easing up of the lockdown. I believe it may have been the, re the, the, the result of the, the actual lockdown we had previously. But now, coming back to this eased up lockdown, I've gone a bit outside i've not gone out a lot but i've seen what's happening outside and people are not complying the law enforcement they need to enforce these rules along with the state government the, go the state government has to come up with the penalty because i saw the governor about a week ago saying that they've not clarified those penalties and they don't want to go about punishing people but at the end of the day you have to enforce and the law enforcement have to know exactly what to do. They can't arrest people because putting people in jail will be crowding up people again. So there should be a fine or some other punishment that can be more instant and people would adhere to these rules. Public Affairs Analyst Najib Bello, thank you for joining us on the news. All right, thank you very much.